Installation of the HE01 is going to start with the back plate. Back plate will go into place on the rear of the motherboard, and four bolts will push through into the main cavity of the case or to the other side of the motherboard if you're doing it outside of the case. The rubber standoffs on the back plate itself will provide pressure on the bolts to hold them to the back plate. With the back plate in place, you can see we've got the four bolts coming through the motherboard into the main chamber. We're then going to put four rubber standoffs onto the bolts. And onto there, we're going to put the rails. Now, very important, it does picture in the manual. The um, bolt pattern will face a pinched in towards the CPU. There are also arrows which will point in towards the CPU. It's not mentioned in the instruction manual, but it is pictured this way. Very important, these are not asymmetrical, so they do need to go in the correct orientation. and put it into place and two thumb screws will hold each one down. And you want to tighten these up obviously but you don't want to over tighten. They are thumb screws. No tools. You just want them snug. They don't need to be tightened to the point where you're going to crack your motherboard or anything of that nature. And then repeat up top. Again, opposite direction from the one on the bottom. With the screw pattern facing in, arrows facing towards the CPU. And again, on with the thumb screws. And tighten it into place. With the mounting system in place, I'm going to go ahead, drop on the cooler. Of course, thermal interface material has been applied. Give it a twist. Give it a little bit of a spread on the thermal interface material. Crossbar will drop into place. And we'll just need to tighten two screws on the crossbar to hold it down. Next, installing the fan into the tower. Very important, obviously, you want your flow back of the fan flowing this way. Get front to rear flow. Cable to the back um, or to the bottom, depending on your preference top, wherever you like, but you want your switch accessible for performance or quiet. So I'm going to mount it with the fan to the back and the performance quiet switch right in the front. And the fan will slide in between the two towers. Standard fan clips. into the screw holes of the fan 
and will then clip into place. And of course, the procedure is repeated on the bottom. With the installation completed, the Silverstone HE01 leaves a really interesting footprint in the case. I say really interesting because it is a large two-tower cooler, six six-millimeter heat pipes, um, and the two towers with a large fan in the center. With the smaller front tower, as you can see, all four RAM slots are completely unobstructed. You can put any RAM you want in all four slots. That is obviously going to be a big deal uh, if you're using the taller heatsink RAM. Uh, it's not going to get in the way in any way, shape, or form. Even if you want to go to a dual fan, you can put it on the back where you've got some room. So definitely uh, some engineering went into this. Really uh, simple install, very solid install. We've used this mounting kit before, obviously, many times. Uh, works very effectively. Um, also, nice touch having the performance and quiet switch right out front, very easy to access. The second fan uh, power port located right directly on the fan cable, so no need for a Y connector. It's already built right in. Clean, simple install, really well thought out, beautiful piece from Silverstone.